Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Windows 11 or any Windows version onto Kimo in Arc Linux. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into it. The first thing that we have to do is get into a browser and download the Windows 11 itself. And in the last video, I showed you how to install Kimo. So just follow that video to get to this uh, installing Kimo. Then we just search for Windows 11 and then go to the official Microsoft website. In here, just scroll down. So make sure you are at the bottom of the page. And in here, just select Windows 11, go to download, and this will give you the language option. So we'll just choose English. So there we go, United States, and then confirm. And then this will take a bit of time and then you'll get a download link. Just download the 64-bit version and it should start downloading. Just wait for it to download. Now it's a bit of a big file and this is the actual official version of the Windows. So just chill and then after it is downloaded, as you can see, here's the file. Now we just have to open up our virtual manager. So let's just um, just verify everything is where you need to be or in the downloaded space. The location for it will need that. Then we can just type in virt manager. And this should open up Virtual Manager, or you can just go to your app drawer and just search for Virtual Machine Manager there. Anyway, both methods work. And then after it's open, just click on the plus icon right here, and then set it as the default one because we are installing from a local drive. And then we just will just have to browse and go to Browse Local, and in here we have to find the Windows 11 ISO. So you see now downloads and then just click on the ISO and then hit open. This should automatically detect Windows 11, but in case it doesn't automatically detect. So in case it doesn't, you can actually just search for it. You can just search uh, Win 11 and as you can see in the top, it says Windows 11. I'll just set it for automatic for now and then hit forward. So now we just have to configure our CPU and RAM. I'll just keep it at default. Just make sure you don't go over what you have in your system or uh, don't go about above 70% of your system. So keep it below 50% or 250% that's fine. And now we have to create a drive where the system will stay. Now we'll just hit here and then we can create a new drive or we can just add a pool. And when we are adding a pool, uh, I accidentally clicked uh, on that. So let me just uh, fix that. Now I'll just add, a, add another one for now. So after I add it, we have to just select the type to file system directory. So it will take a directory and make it into a file system. So now we have location so if you have something in other locations you can select from there if you don't uh, well i'll just uh, go to my like i'll just go to my home directory and you can see there is a vm like folder right here and there's already a vm in there so i can just use this directory or yeah i can just use this directory right here now you have to name it and just make sure it the name is not something you already are using so it's, as you can see if i do this it doesn't work because there is a directory called vm uh, if i just do vs storage as you can see this will also not work because again there is stuff <laughs> that's the same name and if we do store it can it will say that it's conflicting so just make it so it's a bit more like defined but uh, since I already have the VM storage drive right here so I will just make it again but that's how you make a drive if you don't have it so now we we'll just add a partition we'll just set the capacity to about uh, I'll just put 80 gigabytes and uh, that's fine for Windows 11 but if you are doing something like if you're installing more software then make sure you put more than 80 and uh, this is just for demonstrating purposes so I don't need too much and also make sure the format is uh, QCOW2 that's a, that's a weird name <laughs> anyway now we can just hit finish and this will actually create a partition for your drive now this will depend on like what you're using so i'm using a hard drive i don't know why because it just has more storage on it 
But this will depend uh, how fast your storage is. The faster it is, the quicker it will be done. Now, a note here is that uh, if you want to use 3D acceleration, uh, which I will... Uh, anyway, after that is done, we can just go forward and check everything if it's correct. Now, as for the network thing, again, refer to the previous video where I did set up how this will work. Like every network thing is also set up on the previous video. So make sure you check that out. And then hit finish and this should open up your page. Now just select it and go through the installation process. And that should be it. Like that should be all you need to do to just install Windows onto your Arc Linux system. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do 3D acceleration and the errors you can have if you do it like this. And also, uh, every fix you sh should need to do to get this up and running for how you want to do it. So if you found this video helpful, obviously hit like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment on uh, what you're using, which version of Windows you're using.